Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Risa. If you're not already, make sure you subscribe. And for those of you that just subscribed, thank you very much. At the end of this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, thumbs down, whichever you prefer. Um, and make sure you hit that notification bell so that every time I post, you will know. I'm just going to jump right into it. This video is going to be about me. Um... Speaking about my Lindbergh syndrome, which is a deformity in my arms and which is an abnormal development which causes a malfunctioning or deformity in my arms to where it, do, it does not extend fully as normal arms do. So both my arms are at different degrees. So um, this one's more at of a 30 degree, maybe. I'm only able to extend it 30 degrees and then this one goes a little bit further to about 60 and um, that's what we'll be talking about today and it'll be a short topic on it only because I'm still learning more about it like I'm 37 years old and just understanding what Lindbergh syndrome is for arms and myself and a few my two other siblings have it and two uh, uh, three of my other siblings do not have it so Three are normal in society, and then three are with this abnormal body. <laughs> I think it's normal. Uh, growing up, I didn't. You didn't really notice it right away. Um, although I felt my more confident was, as a child walking around with um, a different type of body as everyone else. Um, and I went to, I grew up in Seaside, I went to Outward Terrace, and a lot of my friends and I were just worried about playing basketball, putting glue on our hands, um, singing songs at PE, and things like that. Um, I always knew I was different, but my mom never made me feel otherwise, and I would always try to do things like my friends. Uh, unfortunately, I wasn't a race. I couldn't run around the track. I mean, I could, but I wasn't as fast, and <laughs> um, I did have to go to Shriners Hospital here in California. I'm not too sure if they still have it. I'm sure, you know, they may have, but it's not as big. Um, for my right foot, but that's a whole other story. Um, so as I know, I joined a camp transformation fit camp. So this next segment is what I mean at and the beginning. And it didn't really hit me that, wow, I am different. Like I have to modify my workouts because of how my arms are. And then, you know, it didn't bother me at any other challenges because I was always able to be my myself and I didn't really have to worry. I mean, I don't have to worry now, but this is just a different kind of setting for me. It's way out of my comfort zone. Um, you have to, it is encouraged. No, you have to follow FTDI, follow the damn instruction meal plan. And that's been tough, but I've been doing the best that I can. And, but even with that, I like feel like I'm still staying stagnant. I'm not losing as much as everyone. But then that's not my that's not what's in my mind. It's the it's this. It's oh my god, look everyone's gonna look at me because of the way I'm doing the modified workouts. Everyone's gonna judge me because oh why does she get to And again, this is just in my mind. Like no one's sitting there like, ew, you have Lindbergh syndrome. You can't how come you can't stretch your arms? As soon as they say that, like, the coaches and the trainers, they're, they're very understanding and they're encouraging and they're not judging me. They're giving me the tools to do the workouts as best I can, which I give my all. Like, I'll be sweating. But, uh, yeah, that's why I wanted to make this video because for me, living with this has been a challenge. And it's, it's very, it's a mental game. It's like some days and weeks are great. Other days I'm reminded that, yeah, I'm a little different. And there's nothing wrong with being different. It's just, you have to make sure in your mind that you are strong and you remind yourself that you are a great person and God made you different. God made you strong. God and I gave everybody out there and to the parents that um, don't make their children feel different I commend you because I'm sure it was hard for my mom to watch and for her to hear the things that I was going through at school um, as I got older because when I was ele in elementary I would ask her why does everybody look different and she goes you're, ah, you're fine you're crazy you're beautiful you're strong and she would tell me things like that and I would never second guess her word and I think that's really important when you have someone in your corner to tell you how strong you are and to help build an inner voice in you because there are days where I just want to quit the camp because I always 
wonder if people are looking at me and judging me and then I just hear my one voice like nope you keep going you got this you're strong you're beautiful and you got this so um that is my little story time so to speak on Lindbergh syndrome and um a little backstory on what I have dealt with growing up and until now uh, but thank you for watching again if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up or thumbs down whatever you prefer <laughs> hit that subscribe button and make sure to hit that notification bell <laughs> notification bell so every time I post you will know thanks for watching Bye. and I just want to say if your ch children are di have been diagnosed or are feeling some type of weight in general about themselves growing up just reassure them that they're gonna be fine life comes with challenges whether any of us like it or not we're not always gonna have the days that go smooth there's gonna be a day we're gonna be like whoa let me make you grow just a little bit more you know what I'm saying so challenges come with life and at the end of the day as long as you know that you have loved ones that love you and you are strong and beautiful and that God gave you a purpose, you will be fine. But nothing that is worth having ever comes easy and that's okay. Have a great week to come and thank you for watching.